All right, happy homebrew Wednesday, everybody. Um, let's see. So I've got a controversial one today. This is that Hefeweizen that I'd been uh, talking about last time. It's now in the secondary. It's a it's in a five gallon fermenter versus the six that it uh, primaried in. And I want to know what people think about rousing not so much the yeast, but rousing the dry hop. This has three ounces of dry hop in it. Uh, one each of Falconer's Flight, Citra, and Sriracha Ace. Um, I first heard about it on Jamil's uh, Can You Brew It for uh, Avery's Maharaja, I think. And uh, they talk a lot about, about blowing a ton of CO2 through, um, up through the bottom of, the firm, of their fermenters in order to rouse that up. So I figured in th this being a Hefeweizen and me not caring so much about how it cleared that I was going to do that uh, once a day. So I've been doing that at night, at the uh, when I get home from work. Uh, I'm not sure why I'm doing it then, but that's uh, that's when I decided to do it. And I just do it once a day. I thought about doing it twice, but I don't know. That seems maybe a little excessive. You can see down here the trub level looks far different. This is now after the, I think the second or third time I've... Uh, I've roused the yeast. It used to be just dark brown on the bottom and it used to have a much thicker uh, light ring there. And I'm not so sh I'm not sure uh, exactly why that is. Maybe that has to do with more yeast in suspension. I'm not really sure. But um, hopefully next Wednesday, Wednesday you should see a new brew because I should be brewing this weekend. Um, that's it for now. Please let me know about what you think about the um, dry hop rouse rousting or whatever in the uh, in the comments below thanks